Hey guys, it's Nick with Technic. I am sick. I'm sick of the clutter and the mess every time I go to charge a device. And if you're like me, we've had enough. Maybe this is the solution. This six-in-one charging station by Anchor. Let's go. So this is a problem-solving device here to get us to charge up to six devices on this one setup. Now, yeah, are we gonna get out rid of all of these cables? No, because obviously I'm gonna have to have cables go from this to my devices, but it could eliminate a lot of this. So let's just, this thing is a little different than what you might be expecting. It's not a power bank, no. This is actually going to plug in the wall and then allow you to charge the devices off of this. Up to two laptops at a time with 140 watt power on this. It's compatible with Apple devices and a myriad of other things. So let's get into this and see how it works. With Anchor products, we do know that they have not only good products, but they have good quality and warranties to these devices. And this one's no different with the 24 month warranty on this device. Now it also has something that uh, gives you a warranty on your connected devices up to $200,000 of coverage. And we'll get more information on that and circle back around here in a minute in the video. Let's open it up and see what we've got here. This thing is pretty lightweight and slim to boot, coming in at just 0.7 inches thick and roughly the size of a smartphone. Now, what this is going to do is have a smart display here that gives us information on what we're charging. This thing charges pretty fast and it's also versatile across many items. This can charge a 16 inch MacBook Pro in just an hour and 15 minutes. So it's able to put the power where it needs to go. And that warranty that we mentioned covers your connected devices. This kind of acts like a smart power surge device by checking the temperature of those connected devices three million times a day. That's insane, right? So this thing is constantly monitoring, and if it senses a problem, it'll turn the power off to that. And because of that, there's like a beefy warranty here and a whole bunch of rules you gotta look at to figure out if your device is apply and were damaged while using this. So you'll have to read more on that, but that's pretty incredible claim out of the box. This thing has two standard hookups, like we're gonna plug in to like the wall jack essentially. And then we've got two USB-C and two USB-A adapters here. And we're gonna get a readout on that as those devices are hooked up. That's what we'll do now and just kind of show you what this looks like. John, if you don't mind. I'm still going to have to have cables to plug into this, obviously. But this thing gives me essentially six ways to charge with one plug, with one device. So I'm not looking for all of those little power adapters all over the place. This thing uses the Anchor's technology called Power IQ 3.0, which is monitoring all of this stuff through here. And then their Active Sync Defense, which is essentially making sure that we're not causing any damage to any devices. On top of all that safety it provides, it's good for the environment. Well, at least a little bit because uh, the ink on this box was printed with soy ink, in case you were worried about that. So let's see how this thing works. John, let me get some cables and let's just start plugging up some devices and see what we get. Let's just fire up any and everything we can find and let's just see what happens. All of these devices are now running through this anchor, an Xbox Series S. An Aeromax handheld screwdriver is charging. We have a Google Pixel 8 Pro charging. We have an Xbox Series X controller, and we have our Eufy handheld vac charging along with a levitating shoe display, all being powered off of this anchor. The Google 8 Pro Max is pulling 11.8 watts. That's so cool that it shows it. Our Aero Max is taking about 1.8 watts. The Google Pro around, again, just under 12, surging as high as 15 watts. And then our Xbox controller is staying in there straight at 0.1 watts. Uh, the two plugs look like they're not being monitored by the smart display. Now, I'm sure they are internally, but I'm not getting an actual readout on the device. Let's plug up this little... Eufy handheld vac that we just reviewed and see if we get some wattage on it. There we go. It jumped up and is pulling almost seven watts. So that shows here that our, our live wattage as we're charging these devices. 
Now, in reality, for most of us, do you need to see all this, right? Do I wake up in the morning and go, I wonder how many watts my Xbox needs? That's why it's built in. You don't need to know it. Let Anchor do all that. Now, I want to show you kind of the built-in. We see how narrow and slim this device is. And I didn't even really think about this while we were looking at this device. But look at the depth of a standard plug versus this device. It means that this device actually really isn't thick enough to handle this. So what does it do? Well, it has a mechanism inside of here. And as you start to put this down into here, the platform for this charge station pops up and gives the appropriate depth for this. They've literally made this slimmer than the device should be. It's obvious that they want this thing to be easily portable and to be able to be on the move. Now, as always with an Anchor product, they hope you don't need it, but if you do, they've got customer support 24 hours a day, and with 80 million users plus worldwide, they've gone over that line of being someone that's on the outskirts to being a trusted name in electronics. With that said, I guess that means that I would trust this with my electronic devices as a surge protector and a slim travel mode version that allows me to do, well, I mean, obviously, let's see, if I was traveling with all this, I'd be okay. I hope I never am traveling with all of this. All of that could run right off of this device with no problem. So this thing sells for $110 on Anchor. Now, right now, we're around the holidays. This thing is down around the $70 mark, and so we decided to grab it to test it to see. Really where this is going to come in is that, yes, it's functional, and yes, it can be a travel mode version of this, but if this thing does its job, this is going to monitor your devices. If there's an issue with overheating or surges, it's going to power them down and protect them, and really is meant to be invisible once you plug this up. So for anywhere from $70 to $100, is this thing worth the peace of mind that it brings? That's up to you to decide. We're going to use it for a while and test it and have it here on the channel. We'll have follow-up as we go. I hope you guys find this informative. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. I'm Nick with Technic. We'll catch you next time.